Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I know it's controversial. I know. I know. We talked about this in the last video. I, Whitney Simmons, I do not enjoy fall. So although this is a fall favorites, there will not be any fall inspired pieces. There's no pumpkins, pumpkin spice. There's none of that in this video. Now, if you love fall, I support you wholeheartedly, okay? Don't think I'm bashing you because I'm not. Listen, fall just gets me way too anxious for the winter. You know what I mean? Like something's coming and it's cold weather and gloomy days. The last favorites video that I did was over the summer. I did all my summer favorites. So I wanted to talk about some of the items that I am loving right now in October favorites, fall favorites, just everything. I I currently, drum roll please, I currently can't live without. Thank you. I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never yet to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. This is not a fit tip. A Listen, we've been doing it for five years. We're not gonna change it now. Okay, let's start with food as I always do because food is always my number one favorite. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I haven't stopped talking about how I am vegan Rob's number one fan, okay? As you guys know, I'm not vegan, but due to my autoimmune disease, I can't have gluten or dairy. So usually just finding vegan products is easier because I know that they're gonna be dairy free and most of the time they're also gluten free. So these I am obsessed with. I'm a snacker. I have no shame in my snack game. I love snacks, okay? So here we have the Vegan Rob's Cheddar Puffs, dairy free, crunchy good, certified gluten free. First of all, I had to run to the store today to purchase these. I would say 50% of the time they're not in stock. I don't know who sold them out. It might be me. It might be me. <laughs> Fortunately, I ran to the store this morning just to get these so I could show them to you and I did have them in stock. So listen, here's where it gets dangerous. Is in one sitting, I can eat this whole bag because it's a fraud and they only go here. Okay, it's a 50% halfway bag. Okay, Rob, please. Please, Rob, can we work on that? This is what they look like. Here's the thing. Finding vegan cheeses has been the most difficult aspect of going dairy-free. Dairy-free cheeses, they're tricky. Now, I do believe I have found the best of the best. So when I tried these cheddar puffs, I've tried vegan cheddar puffs in the past. I was like, listen. Mm -mm. And then I tried these. I wasn't hopeful due to my past experiences. These are phenomenal. Thank you. What are they made with? Vegan Rob's Dairy Free Cheddar Pups are the absolute bomb. They are so creamy, crunchy, and delicious. Extra yum. You know what? Retweet. Couldn't agree more. If you're not vegan and you haven't like dipped your toes into the dairy free world, I don't know if you'll enjoy these. I'll be honest. Because I feel like, listen, two years ago when I first went dairy free, would I have loved them? I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like it's an acquired taste. Obsessed. Thank you. Even more obsessed. The Vegan Rob's Dragon Crisps. You guys know I'm a baby back B word when it comes to spice. I can't handle it. Can't hang. These, they're just not too spicy, you know? They're perfect. I was obsessed with these for the longest time, and right now I'm enjoying these. I hate to say it, but these are my number one right now. They're so good. They're exactly like Pringles. They're not too spicy. Gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. The smoky, spicy, cool snack is in thin light. It is absolutely unique and delicious. We put the dragon in a can for you. These crisps are crunchy and addictive. No, truly they are addictive. I am truly addicted to these. You know, ate the last can last night, went to the store first thing the most this morning. It's an addiction. If you're looking for a new snack, try these first, and then maybe if you're already acquired to the dairy-free cheese, then maybe try the cheddar puffs. These, wow. Just wow. I love snacks, you know what I mean? I'm always on the hunt for a new snack. I need something to snack on throughout the day. I need it. I can't help it. Okay, I wanna talk about some fitness favorites now. I love a white sneak. I know you guys know this because it's the only thing I wear. And I don't know why coming across a good white sneak is so dang difficult, but it's tricky, you know? Cause it's hard to find an all white sneak. They always have some other color on them. And that's just exhausting. I only want white. Anyways, these were recently introduced to me. These are the Nike Space Hippies. Are they completely white? No. It's the gray soul for me. Why is it there? Why couldn't it have been white like the rest of it? This has become my upper body gym sneaker. Definitely not lower body or deadlift day. If I'm just doing like seated shoulder press, tricep extension, these are my favorite go-to sneakers right now. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but they're actually more of like a creamy white. They look really similar to the unbleached from my Gymshark collection. So it's a perfect match really. It's netted on top. It's made from recycled material on the bottom. I don't think they're in the most comfy shoe, 
shoe, but they are a very, very cute shoe. So if you're on the hunt for a new white sneaker, definitely check these out. I love the big platform wedge on the bottom. Hey, give me another inch or two. I'll take it. You know what I mean? Listen, I know this is embarrassing to talk about, and I'm sure you're like, what in the heck, Bob? I know, but I'm obsessed. This is a T-bar row plate insert for landmine exercises, and I have been obsessed with, I know my Instagram family knows, I've been obsessed with landmine exercises. Upper body day, lower body day. I'm doing a ton of landmine exercises, and this has just been so perfect. Now, do I think you could purchase this and take it to the gym with you if your gym doesn't have a landmine post? I do. It's a little heavy, you know, it's gonna weigh down the gym bag a little bit, but if you're working out from home or like your gym doesn't have landmine and you desperately wanna do a landmine, I just got this off of Amazon and it's so nice. You just pop it into a plate on the floor. So I usually will pop it into a 45 pound plate. It sits right in there and then I can do all of my landmine barbell exercises and I've been having a hoot of a time. You know what I mean? Really switching up my game in the gym. I know it's embarrassing to talk about. I am embarrassed that I put it in a favorites video. It just seems like a revolutionary product to me, you know? That's all I'm saying. I wanna talk about some beauty and hair care products that I am obsessed with being understatement. I was trying to think of a more powerful word there. I don't have one on the tip of my tongue. Okay, you guys know I've been on this hair journey. I had a mullet at one point because my hair was so dry, it broke off. You know, my body wasn't getting the nutrients that it deserved. So my hair was really suffering and it has been a hair journey to try to get my hair just a little healthier a little more hydrated. I live in a very dry climate as well, which is why I have dry skin, I have dry hair, I live in a dry climate. It all accumulates and I'm left here with my hair breaking off and my skin flaking at the drop of a hat. You know, a little scratch, flakes. This is the hair mask I have been head over heels in love with. I'm almost done with it. I need to order a backup. Look at that. Obsessed. This is from Day Hair Care. It is the Monsoon Moisture Mask. First of all, it smells absolutely delicious. It smells like a man, you know what I mean? It's a very musky scent. That's a scent I love. Don't bring me something sweet. Bring me something musky. Big fan. It's super, super thick. A little bit goes a long way. So I will shampoo, I will condition, and then I will go in with this moisture mask. And this girl, she's got my back. My hair feels so hydrated. I was really struggling with my ends. Listen, my ends were really scared me. I was like, please, I can't cut my hair off again. I have a wedding in 11 months, okay? I can't cut my my hair off again. So this has been a lifesaver for me and my hair. I love it. If you're on a hunt for a new hair mask, you need a little bit of moisture. You love a musky scent. I'm ordering a backup. <sighs> you guys know how much I love skincare. I love it. If there's one thing that I have learned over this last year is like little moments of self-care are so important, especially if you're struggling with mental illness like I have been struggling with this year. These little things that you do to take care of yourself, they add up and it really helps you day to day. I'm sorry, I know that's so dramatic, but my like 10 minutes of skincare at nighttime, my nighttime routine, it just, I unwind. I take some time for myself and I always feel like really proud of myself for doing that every night where I'm like wow I took 10 minutes to wash my face and brush my teeth what an accomplishment so I have a new cleansing routine I love a two-step cleansing routine and I love a good cleansing balm love so this is a brand new product from Naturium I just got this like three-ish weeks ago like on launch day I said take my money and give me this product. This is from Naturium. It is the Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. Previously, I've been using their oil. I absolutely love it. I, dare I say, dare I say I love this one more. Okay, so like, first of all, some cleansing moms, have you guys noticed when you start rubbing them in, they still, they stay in like these little like hard pieces and it never completely emolliates. Does that make sense? It never completely like dissolves into an oil. This immediately dissolves into an oil. You need the smallest amount and I'm telling you, I wear like 15 layers of mascara. You guys know I have an addiction to mascara and this just takes it all off. You put it on, you rub it all in, it melts into this creamiest, most delicious hydrating oil. But then when I rinse it off entirely, nothing is left on my face. My face doesn't feel stripped, but I don't feel like I have any residue on my face. So that is why I absolutely love this product because especially it doesn't hurt my eyeballs because there will be times where I like, I'll take a scoop of a cleansing balm, I'll go into the shower, I rinse my whole face, wash my face, do the whole thing, and my eyes are bleeding. Bleeding. My eyes are in so much pain. So there's been a, quite a few like cleansing oils and balms that I haven't been able to use anymore because they hurt my eyes and they like linger. Not this bad boy. So if you're on the hunt for a new cleansing balm, you're looking for a more affordable option, definitely check this one out. Hi. I just love that it melts right away. Listen, I'm a big fan of Naturium. You guys know this. And I'm a big fan of Susan Yara. So am I biased? Yes. 
Thank you. So after I do my cleansing mom at night, I will go in with this Skin Effects Barrier Plus Foaming Oil Cleanser. This is a replenishing, non-stripping face wash, and the non-stripping face wash part is exactly why I love it. First of all, I was really confused because when I read foaming oil cleanser, I'm like, but I already have my oil. So what am I gonna do with this? So I thought this was an oil, but it's not. It's like this really, it's a very creamy, see? It's not an oil, it's like a normal face wash, but it feels so hydrating and it doesn't strip my skin and that's what's most important to me. Because listen, I've been working hard to repair my skin barrier, okay? I don't have time for it to be stripped. So I need those very gentle cleansers. And these two, this is my power duo and I never have like not even a fleck nothing nothing left on my face and you guys know you saw my last video i wear a lot of makeup okay i love makeup i love it it's the highlight of my day okay last product this is from pseudo labs freckles in shade two water resistant faux freckles as i said before if you are gently dipping your toes into the faux freckle world this might be a little bit too intense then i definitely recommend the freck pen that i've showed and talked about a million times where you just dot it on and then you dab it out you know you can really control how many freckles with this bad boy there's just no control it. This has a spoolie on the end and then it comes with this little plastic, what is this? I don't know, this little plastic guy and you flick the freckles onto your face. I'm obsessed. Okay, first of all, I love a faux freck. I wish more than anything that I had freckles. I look at men and women with freckles and I'm like, wow. How insanely beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't have many. So a product like this, if you like faux freckles, I know, I know. You either love them or you hate them. I love and this will give you the most realistic faux freckle effect you can get because it just splatters everywhere and then I'll take my finger and dab it in. If you need a quick tutorial on how to use it, I showed how to use it in my last video. So I will link that below. If you haven't watched that video yet, I show exactly how I use this product. I use shade two, there's three shades. I have three as well and sometimes I'll do three, but two on me and my complexion and with my darker hair color is the most realistic. Okay, you guys, you know I don't gatekeep, but I was thinking about it. I was thinking about with this one product, I might have to keep it for myself because this is my only, this is my fall wardrobe. Every single time that I leave the house, I am wearing this. <sighs> Listen. I love blazers. I think that blazers are the most perfect accessory for an athleisure outfit, for a dress up outfit, for any outfit. I throw a blazer on top, this blazer in particular, and I just feel like my whole, it just pulls a whole outfit together. I don't do a lot of shopping for like normal clothes, but I do invest in my staple pieces. I love my staple pieces. And this was like my one piece this year where I was like, I need a leather blazer. So. I did a lot of shopping, I did a lot of ordering, and I did a lot of returns until I could find the perfect leather blazer. This is the perfect one for me. I'm not saying that you need this leather blazer, but I am saying that you might, you might need a leather blazer into your fall wardrobe this year. So, this is my girl. Like, truly, this is my girl. It's embarrassing how much I've worn this leather blazer. I don't know, something about it. I love the pockets. I did lose a button that I do need to sew back on. I don't personally know how to sew, but my sister I'm gonna see if she can sew back on her. Right? This is super oversized and I ordered it in one size up. So this is a medium and I'm telling you like it's really embarrassing how much I wear this blazer. <laughs> I'll be wearing like a matching like I'll put on a hoodie and sweats pop my blazer on. I'll be wearing my biker shorts with a sports bra pop my blazer on. I'll be wearing an oversized tee my cycling shorts pop my blazer on. I uh, blue jeans with like a black bodysuit like this and this blazer i mean it's the item that i will have in my closet for years and years to come i love how oversized it is i love that when i'm standing up it covers my bum it's just like big it's like listen it's cold and this kind of keeps me warm will i be able to wear it all through the winter like when it's like pouring snow outside i don't know i don't know but i will report back here she is. I'm obsessed. This is a fall wardrobe must-have this year and probably next year and many years after that. So fall blazer, that's my girl. I didn't want to tell you about it. I didn't want to tell you about it, but it's just been like, I just love those pieces that you have in your closet and it can go with everything, like truly anything. And then you get your money's worth out of them. You have them for years to come. They get a little more worn in the more that you wear it and it's just like, come on. Are you kidding me? That's my favorite. I was thinking of doing a video where I take like some of my favorite gym fits and show you how I take them out of the gym. You know what I mean? Like, let me show you how to take my favorite gym fit and make it athleisure. And that right there. 
key key product all right you guys that is going to wrap up this favorites video i hope that you guys enjoyed it of course i will link everything in the description box below please for the love of all things holy let me know what you want to see next we have a full day of eating coming we have a week of workouts coming maybe the athleisure video coming if you guys want to see that let me know i love you guys so much thank you so much for being here and until next time i will see you next time